morning everyone welcome on your youtube channel of lalbal girls inter college let's start with the bio lectures today i have taken the topic morphology of flowering plants which is the first topic let's start what do you understand by morphology the actual meaning of morphology is to study the external parts of the plant or the organism here we can divide the flowering plants into two parts first is the vegetative part and second is the its reproductive part further a vegetative part can also divide into two parts its root system and its shoot system root system found underground and shoot system is found above the ground surface here you can see the whole plant the underground part is called root system and the above the ground surface is a shoot system the shoot system you can see lots of leaves are there its stem is there so shoot system has leaves its stem and the reproductive part comprises fruits and the flower so for the study of morphology of flower of any kind of flower we have to learn about these structures fruits its flower leaves its stem and the root let's start with the structure of flower so i have taken a flower for you this full structure is called twig and this twig comprises the leaves here you can see these are the leaves this is the stem this is the flower now we can see that this is the vegetative part and this is the flowering part and this flowering part comprises two main flowers that means flower main flower and the female flower i show you the male and female flower of the flower this is structure this is structure this is stamen this is filament and here in between is a gynoecium this is found inside the flower outside the flower is a green color calyx and colorful very attractive is corolla so these four structures are the main parts of any flower sometimes any part of the flower may be missing for example sometimes only corolla is found sometimes only calyx is found but when these whole structures are present at the same time the flower is called complete flower so here i i found that the this flower comprises the calyx the corolla and the androecium and the gynoecium both so this flower is called the complete flower so these two structures are called essential non essentials and the 
endosium and the gynosium is called the endosium and the gynosium is called the essential rows and calyx and the corolla is called the non-essential. So we can say that a complete car comprise, comprises two rows. First is the non-essential row which you found outside the flower. Green color calyx and colorful, co colorful corolla and your reproductive part endosium and gynosium which is the most important part of any flower. Here we have seen the first part of the flowering plant, flower. Next we will see the fruit. Next we will see the other parts of the plant like your inflorescence. Here I will show you the inflorescence also. This whole structure is called inflorescence. Here lots of flowers are present at the same time. So this structure is called inflorescence. Children, you have seen many times lots of flowers and bunches are there. Let's see, let's take in this example also. This flower is not a single flower. This is a inflorescence. Here a petal. Here is a flower, petal. You can say it is a petal. But this is a complete flower. This one petal is a flower. And here a lots of flower is found at the same time. Now this flower is called inflorescence. Here, this also, this you can see, lots of flower present at the same time. This structure is also form the inflorescence. So, today we have learned that a stem, leaves, inflorescence, a single flower, a single flower structures like calyx, corolla. And inside calyx and corolla, we have found male and female reproductive part. Androsia and the gynosia. So here we will stop this and in the next video we will see the other parts of the flower. Thank you for watching this video.